Please welcome Stephanie Wilder Taylor. Your new book, um, Drunkish, mm -hmm. how do you know to write in such a straightforward, honest, real way that certainly doesn't lack entertainment, but just feels not so writerly? It's like, it's more human. Well, because I'm not the best writer, <laughs> it's actually kind of true. I feel like, because I have a stand-up background. Yes. And then I just like to write the way I think, and I think kind of funny. So I just tried to really go back there to what the thought process was when I was drinking, when I was living like that, because I feel like a lot of books about quitting drinking. Oh God, they're so heavy. I'm heavy. sorry. I know they're very necessary. Like of I've course. been a friend of Bill W's. I've worked the 12 steps. I currently am not in a program. I'm mm -hmm. not fully sober. Alcohol was my poison. Mm -hmm. And I wanted to, I want to talk about it in a way that isn't so maudlin and dark because it's not the way I feel about it. Once right. I finally made the decision to stop. I agree. I don't think it, and I think that there are a lot of women that are like us that didn't even hit such a low point that you could really pinpoint like, oh, my life went to hell. And I don't think those stories are told as much as they need to so that we can kind of normalize quitting drinking before the worst happens. Yes. Yes. And you speak honestly, like let's get down to it. You talk about driving drunk with your kids. So the problem is that when you're drinking and it starts to become such a habit that you drink every day. Yes. And towards the end, like there was a there was a period of time where I felt like I could moderate my drinking and, you know, keep it to two glasses of wine at night. And then, you know, it's just started creeping up. And then I started doing those like mind games with myself, like, okay. I feel like I'm starting to drink too much, so I'm only gonna drink on the weekends. Right. And then Friday obviously counts as the weekend, you know? And then it would be like, oh, I can't go all week without, I can't have a drink on a Wednesday night. So then I'd be like, you know what? I'm only gonna drink on weekdays. And obviously Friday counts as a weekday. Yep. <laughs> and then at a certain point, I was like, I just wanna be able to drink the way I wanna drink. So you know what I'm gonna do? I'm just gonna be a person who likes to drink. I'm an alcohol enthusiast. Let me, I'll, I'm gonna drink a normal amount. I'm gonna be at home. I'm not driving anywhere. I'm gonna master this. I'm gonna, I'm gonna conquer this, yes. And then I found myself at a friend's house, you know, having a few drinks. I'm gonna be fine. I never saw myself as somebody who would get in the car and make a decision like that and drive drunk, but I didn't feel drunk, that's the thing. But it was a, such a moment of clarity for me because I came home, my husband was furious, and I was annoyed that he was mad at me because I felt fine. That's well, the thing. Because you either go to shame or you go to defensiveness. Right. But when I woke up the next day, I was really hungover and I was very clear that I'd been very drunk the night before. So I thought to myself, the problem is that I make bad decisions when I'm drunk. Like I never mean to. It's just that once I've had a glass of wine, the second one feels even better. And then once I've had two, I'm like, well, now I'm really relaxed. This is fun. Everybody's interesting. I'm going to have one more. And it always starts like that. And then I end up drunk. But once I hit that point and the kids were still really young, I was like, I know that I can't promise that I won't, that I won't drive again. Because why would I, you know what I'm saying? Like, why would I do that in the first place? I wouldn't normally do that. So I was like, alcohol is something that makes me not able to parent the way that I want to parent, obviously. So yeah, I made that decision. 